about um, Zenyu and S2H as well. Right, right. So, so we, we don't really know what's going to go on here. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Stroder is rocking Gren uh, Greninja. He is rocking Greninja, and Pandarian is playing Pokemon Trainer. Oh, yeah, I forgot Pandarian is also playing Pokemon Trainer now. And uh, game one. Oh, what's button happening? Check is, uh, oh, big oof. All right, button check time. Heck, this this game's not happening. No, it is happening. Get in there. Oh, wait, wait. Go, go, go. No, no, no. <laughs> it was only nine seconds. If we go to time, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> right, we had nine seconds to reset the clock. <laughs> Okay, so big, so we have Team Pokemon versus Team Mario. Yeah, literally Team Mario. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, wow! Great, what? great Pokemon exchange. I mean, just he used the Pokemon uh, Switch as an air dodge. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff from Pandarian. Again, using it as an air dodge, and that's converting to a, a character who, like a little bit quicker. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to hit, and then switching right back to Venusaur. Yeah. Oh, great up stand coming in from uh, Prodigy, but there's so many buttons coming in from both the Marios, and they're so strong and prevalent. That's right. Okay. And that's kind of oh, great read coming in from Master Mario. Yeah, Master Mario, of course. You see a lot of a lot of uh, Ivysaur players do the the ledge grab, drop down, upbeat. The ledge grab again. It does have the invincibility, but just because of Venusaur's le uh, ledge hang makes it very difficult for him to hit. But Ma uh, Mario just has a down smash. He just dances on him. Yeah, exactly. And like, with how strong, like, and how fast Mario's down smash is, comes out like frame five or something ridiculous like that, maybe. And it's kind of one of the best options to like cover people on the ledge when they're trying to regrab. All right. Pokemon team's getting grabbed. Now, whoa, great conversion. That's still into Stroder's back air. And just conversions continue. These Marios are getting taken for a ride. Oh, there's a fair. But Stroder making it back. Back air's coming in from Stroder. Even trying to use the, the water gun to make it back. Yeah, Pandarian trying to get him with the ledge jump, but immediate follow-up coming in uh, from uh, Prodigy. You see, Master the Mario's retaking stage control. Yeah, and uh, they're both in the ledge. This is a weird spot because you don't want to be too close to your, uh, your teammate because you might mess them up on the recovery. That's right. I mean, you, you saw like Pandarian had to get off the ledge at that moment, but wow, forward throw and trying to convert into an up smash with just missed spaces. Yeah. Now, uh, this, is the, this is the opportunity where uh, Master Mario and Prodigy have been shining throughout this entire tournament where they are... They get both their opponents off stage, and then they just keep hitting them. Well, we see red team and blue team trading stocks there. Yeah. Uh, making it back. Prodigy getting Stroder off stage, but while Master Mario is fighting Pandarian. Oh, that off air nearly killing uh, Prodigy, though. That's right. I mean, oh, man. Pandarian's getting like suffocated a little bit by these Marios, but big water shirt again coming in. Oh, actually... Prodigy going for a roll read on uh, Schroeder. Schroeder not falling for it, though. You see a oh. lot of up smashes coming out from Prodigy. That fair not killing. Oh, wow. Uh, that was a weird timing coming in from Schroeder. Man, while this was all going on, Pandarian and uh, Nasta Mario have been throwing out Dukes, just hitting each yeah, other. They're, they're just, like, trading left and right, just continuing to say, it's your turn now, it's my turn. Yeah. But a big up smash from Nasta Mario is going to come in. Take out Schroeder's stock. Forwarder. Oh, man. Did you see? Schroeder trying to forward throw into Pandarian's air. That's right. Schroeder needs to be there for his, uh, his partner. He is able to land the down smash. Oh. Wow. Pandarian converts. This is such a huge opportunity for Schroeder and Pandarian. But if Prodigy is able to take out Pandarian's stock, this could be even. Oh, no. But this is a forward throw. Uh, Another forward throw. But Schroeder's skin not prepared. Yeah. yeah. O 0 for 2 on the follow-up. There's the up air. Oh, oh, gonna get him with the up beat. You know what? That was the air dodge, though. So it did allow for Stroder to fo uh, actually follow up with the uh, up air. Pandarian looking for a grab. Oh, my God. Oh, what is that? Up. Ledge pressure? <laughs> <laughs> you see that, like, short hop fastball for Charizard? It just, like, makes the screen shake, too. Yeah, it's just so like big. <laughs> the true Godzilla moment right there, you know? That's some secret <laughs> tech, if I've ever seen it. It's like... Yo, let me actually apply pressure by making the screen shake. 
That next level stuff. <laughs> Take notes, Pokemon trainers. Take notes. That's what. That's what true heavies are like. Like that, that, that's true heavy pressure. It's like they're so big. They're such a big body that you know you can't really get away from. That's right. Well, doesn't look like we're seeing any character switches from our players. I don't know. Strutter and Pandarian were talking, and they played rock, paper, scissors for something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Probably for like <laughs> variation of color. Yeah, variation of color. Okay. So both players or Mario's taking that opportunity to charge their floods in the beginning. Which is what they've been doing in like every game. Yeah, like it, I seem it seems to be like um Master Mario and Prodigy do love this stage though. Yeah, they both like to go for those up roads and then conversions, but uh, Pandarian able to interrupt with his up B. And that's kind of one of the things that um, Pandarian and Schroeder have been doing a really good job at is covering their teammate. That's right. You can see right there, Pandarian was like floating off the side of the stage. But wow, oh, big case. Nice He's dead. Not, no coming back from that. No, no matter how, well, you, you have three jumps, bro. I mean, by that point, a couple of them have been expended too. So I think he only had one at that. Oh, man, but the back air. Gonna close out Prodigy stock. Master Mario playing stock tank right now. I mean, but that's kind of like a weird position for Master Mario to be in. We usually see him being the more aggressive player, but in this case, it's a uh, it's Prodigy who seems to be really going in, putting up numbers. Yeah. All that up air to up air coming in from the blue team. Lots of damage. A uh, whiff grab's gonna get punished by down smash from Stroder. And using the no! substitution. That substitution was beautiful. And I like how he made it so that he isn't going, that Stoder isn't going to be in uh, in threat of losing his stock by just going straight up. Yeah, and I and that's another kind of thing. I feel like when um, they're getting their opponents in a disadvantage, there's an opportunity. Oh, okay, good no. stop coming in from Master for saving his teammate. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was able to reset his his partner and allowing him to up B again. Otherwise, that would have been game over. Yeah, and. Uh, Master Mario covering with the out smash. Oh, that was a really scary flare blitz coming in from Pandarian. If he hit Schroeder, it would have been that big of a deal, actually. Oh, actually, it would have put Pandarian in a really bad spot. That's right. Great, great dash attack coming in from Pandarian. You got, you got to think about those seconds. Oh, no. How did he get hit by the forward air? That thing is huge. That was not fair. Like It looked like uh, Pandarian was trying to go for her own spike, but unfortunately, Master Mario just said, I'm throwing out this fair. If you get hit by it, you get hit by it. <laughs> That's right. Like, I'm throwing this out, and it's your fault. Okay, oh. so we have Team Mario. Oh, One no. Okay. Piece. Master Mario, gone. It's all up to Prodigy now. Yeah, Prodigy, once again, losing his stocks really early. And he had his share of stock. Uh, he had his share of Master Mario's stock yet again. Let's see what he's going to do with the stock, though. And I like that just the position that Pandarian was in just allowed Schroeder to uh, recover safely back to the stage. If oh, Prodigy, the dare! If Prodigy was, like, feeling that he wanted to push a button, that he wanted to go off stage, Prodigy was there with an answer. As you can see, that down air is ridiculously huge. That is massive. It, he didn't even two-frame him. It just, it just hit him before he snapped. And Pandarian was off stage. I mean, it was above it. Okay, so they played rock, paper, scissors again. Oh, they're doing best of three. Best of four, best of five. Oh, man. All right, all right. Uh, what? They, is what that even so, a move? That was so <laughs> awkward. He threw paper <laughs> and rock at the same time? That's not, that's cheating. That's option coverage. DQ that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> DQ Pandarian? Yeah, DQ Pandarian. He's cheating in rock, paper, scissors. You gotta, you gotta be careful with your pronouns, bro. <laughs> 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 or that wasn't even a pronoun. <laughs> <laughs> you just call him a man. I think I was a man. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did you call that Darian a man? <laughs> Cue that man. Calm down. Is he not a man? I don't know what. I, I, you gotta ask for the pronouns. Not nowadays. That's what I've been doing. DQ Pandarian. <laughs> DQ that person. Is he a panda? Panda. Panda. Something. All right, well. We'll, we'll just get on with game. Game three. Grand Finals. We got, we are on Unova this time. It's kind of similar to Kalos. I mean, it's kind of similar to uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, but once again, it's a lot flatter of a surface in the middle. 
Yeah, I feel like the stage is actually going to be stronger for Team Pokemon than it is for Team Mario's. Maybe. If, um, if, you know, uh, the Mario's are on the, st on the platforms, they could use the fireball angle to That's their advantage. It, it, it will help with the fireball angle. But you won't really see that coming in from um, Master Mario or Prodigy, really. They are super aggressive, and they just want to go in. Right, right. Wow, Strode is doing a good job, like, pretty much being untouched. Yo! Did you see how, like, how far Stroder went after the substitution? He chased them, tried to go for the backer, but didn't really get it. Oh, that was a great Shadow Sneak. That hit, that was a really high hitbox, actually. Yeah, the, the double Shadow Sneak from Stroder coming in clutch, and Stroder going really far off stage for some reason. Dare coming in from uh, Master Mario, but not killing. Stroder still looking pretty healthy, while the other two are really low. But Pandarian lost her, lost her stock. Right, switching to Squirtle. I see that we don't actually see him staying in Squirtle. Makes sense because uh, even though Squirtle is very fast and small, if he does get hit, he might like actually just straight up die in doubles. Yeah, forward throw to forward smash. Oh, great up air to just call out the fair coming in for Prodigy. Prodigy a bit aggressive right now. Okay, another down air, or yeah, down air coming out from Prodigy. The claw. Closing out the stock. Pandarian's pretty low though. And Stroder's been doing a great job stop taking. Yeah, Stroder is definitely the MVP of the stock tanks for Team Blue. Do you know what was really sick about what uh, Prodigy and uh, Nasa did? What? He did, uh, Prodigy did the, did the jab, did the full jab, and then Nasa jumped above him, threw a fireball, and then followed up with it. Oh, okay. That was sick. I mean, yeah, all right. It got covered slightly, but like it, it, he still took extra damage. Uh, Pandarian had to hit him out of it. Oh, that makes sense. Though. All right, so Prodigy just getting sent. I'm not sure he can make that back. No, he's not gonna be. Okay, he still had his jump. He, no, he he wall jumped actually. Well, he he second jumped very low and into wall jump and yeah. then made it back. But Pandarian losing another stock. And you see, even stocks for for, uh, for our teams. You, great use of the back throw. Um, Pandarian tried to cover the back throw with a dash attack, but actually hitting her partner instead. I like this. The game plan is just get Stroder off stage, focus on Pandarian. Yeah. Down throw to up air. I mean, they're not even hiding it. It's, it's very obvious. <laughs> yeah. Forget Stroder. Up B. Ooh, that he almost took Stroder with him. Yeah. I'm surprised that didn't kill Stroder. He's at 154. Okay, Pandarian taking his time, making back to stage, making sure that Stroder is in a position that he's going to be able to help him. But we do see Stroder get hit by an up smash. That's going to be put him on his last stock. Yo, these parries, both of them, one after another, they got Stroder's number. Right, Yo! another parry coming from Pandarian, or Prodigy. Nice. You know what, that was really smart. Usually he would go for a back throw, but he went for the fourth throw because it's a lot quicker. And he was able to block the Shadow Sneak. It was a great mind game coming in from uh, from the Marios. But now the Marios are off stage and gets oh, no, connected. Got this got is really out. Whoever loses the stock first is in a bad spot. Okay. But now, but Pandarian is at a very high percent. He is staying in Charizard just to make it a little bit harder to lose that stock. But, I mean, he, it's still, I feel like he's one up smash away even from being in Charizard. Yeah. Oh, there's the up smash. Yep. Hey, look, one up smash. Okay, one stock apiece. Now Master Mario is really going to have to put in work to beat overcome Stroder's uh, Greninja. Yeah, there's the Nerda up there. This is where Stroder likes to do. He, get, he can put you in these situations where he's able to juggle you in the air. Oh, that was an amazing Chow sneak. But like it missed out barely. Yeah, directional air dodge doesn't get punished, but double water shuriken. Taking his time, gets the ledge grab dash attack. Not going to connect. Not going to do anything else. Oh, oh no, he actually SD. The fake out. He used the water shuriken to apply pressure, and it forced